Welcome back, my friend. Why, thank you. Not you, elf. I meant... Uh, oh, never mind. Let's get back to work, shall we? Now you will learn the basics of constructing and maintaining a war camp. You should see a worker in the center of your screen. Workers are very important because they collect the resources necessary to build your war camp. They also construct the buildings that make up the war camp. Select the worker. Ready. Notice that when you select the worker, a build menu appears in the selection panel. Excuse me, but this next part is quite complicated. I believe one with superior wits should explain it, if you will allow me. What? I have yet to meet an elf with wits greater than a cave troll. To resume, workers construct all of your buildings. Notice that when you select the worker, a build menu appears in the selection panel. This menu displays all buildings a worker can construct. Buildings whose icons are dimmed cannot be constructed yet. Initially, only the stronghold can be constructed. Left-click the stronghold icon now. Orders? Now, move the cursor over the terrain. When the cursor is over an area where the stronghold can be go. constructed, you will see an image of the building. If you see any red areas in the footprint of the building, you cannot build in that spot and must choose a new location. You can change the rotation of the building with the left and right bracket keys. Once you have found an acceptable location for the stronghold, right-click to order the worker to construct it. Excellent. A building has been completed. The stronghold is required to build all other structures. Select the stronghold by left-clicking on it. When you select the stronghold, notice a menu appears in the right portion of the interface at the bottom of the screen. This section of the interface is called the Action Panel. The Action Panel displays available actions depending on what you have selected. With the stronghold selected, the action panel displays the units that can be trained within this building. Initially, you can only train workers here. Produce a worker by left-clicking on his icon in the menu. Good. To work. Now train two more workers from the stronghold. You do not have to wait for the first worker to finish his training before training the second. Just left-click on the worker icon twice. You will notice that the second worker has been put into the training queue. He will begin training as soon as the first one is finished. Ready to work. Yes? At your service. Ready very good. Work. Despite your previous training, you have done very well. Ah, your explanation was... Uh, adequate. Next, you will learn how to gather resources that... Just a minute, Belithorian, or whatever your name is. This is my area of expertise. Now why don't you take it easy while I impart my wisdom to the novice here? Oh, very well, if you insist. I do! You must gather resources to construct buildings and produce units. One essential resource is ore. You will notice an ore deposit near the location of your stronghold. Select a worker, then right-click on the deposit to instruct him to mine the ore. At your service. That's right! You will notice that the worker carries loads of ore from the deposit to the stronghold. Workers drop off all the resources they collect at the stronghold. The other essential resource is food. Yes? To make food, you must construct a mill. Mills must be built on wells to produce food. You should see an ancient well near the stronghold you constructed. Select a worker. Then left-click on the mill icon in the selection panel. 
Now move the mouse cursor over the ancient well. You should see an image of the mill overlaid on top of the well. Right click to construct the mill. Now that you have a mill, you can build a foundry on the ore deposit. A foundry enables your workers to mine more efficiently. With a worker selected, left click the foundry icon in the selection panel. Now move the cursor over the ore deposit and right click. Excellent! Now your workers will be able to mine the ore more efficiently. You can order several workers to gather resources from the mill or foundry to increase the rate of collection. If you look above the action panel, you will see numbers to indicate how much ore and food you currently have collected. Huh? Oh. I know, I know! There's more than two numbers down there. Go on, explain what it is. Tell our friend about the population limit. It will be my pleasure to do so. Above the action panel, you see three icons with numbers next to them. From left to right, these icons represent your population, food collected, and ore collected. You already know about food and ore. I will explain population. The population is represented by two numbers. The first is your current population, and the second is your population limit. Every time you create a new unit, your current population number will increase. Some units place a greater burden on population and thus will increase the current population count by more than one. When your current population reaches the population limit, you will not be able to train any more units. You can increase your population limit by constructing camps. We will construct a camp next. This will also give me an opportunity to teach you about another important matter. Compared to the enemy, our numbers are small and we must stay close together. For safety, we must construct our buildings near each other. Select a worker, work. then left-click on the camp Ready. icon in the selection panel. Notice the colored area on the terrain around your stronghold. Certainly. This indicates the valid area where you can construct your new camp. Right-click over a valid terrain location to construct the camp. Construct the camp now. A building Good. Has been with a few exceptions, most buildings must be constructed within range of other buildings. Remember the mill you built earlier? Resource structures such as the mill do not have this requirement. What about the stronghold? A that doesn't produce resources. <sighs> no, but it is the first structure that can be built. What other building would it be constructed near? <laughs> You've got a point. Yes, I do. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. You've constructed a camp. Notice that the population limit has increased. The more camps you construct, the more units you will be able to control at one time. Now, order a worker to construct a barracks, just as you did the camp. Construct a barracks. The barracks can create units that will fight. Fight? Fight? Where? Go back to sleep, dwarf. May I continue? Now, friend, select the barracks. Train three Gondor swordsmen in the barracks by left-clicking on the Gondor swordsman icon Ready in the action battle. panel. Remember, you can queue multiple units to train by clicking the icon several times. Train three Gondor swordsmen. Swordsmen ready! Ready for battle. Well Ready done. Battle. Now we shall put those men to good use. Look at the minimap. Notice that some enemies have arrived in the area. Looks like quite a few of Your them orders? too. Send your Gondor your swordsmen will. into battle and eliminate the enemy. Yeah! To battle! If all your swordsmen fall in battle, train more. Keep gathering resources and training <laughs> Gondor swordsmen attack. until all the enemies are defeated. At your command. Move out! Move out! At once!
For Gondor! By my sword, ready for I battle. I go in honor. My sword is yours. Ready for battle. My sword is yours. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. At your will. My sword is yours. Ready for battle. Your orders? At your will. Swordsmen ready. Swordsmen ready. They have no chance. Ready for yes, battle. Lord. At once. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Excellent. Swordsman what a skirmish. That was exciting. You have learned much, my friend. That is all for now. If you would like to know about the more advanced aspects of the game, try the next tutorial. Yeah! To battle! Your enemy is vanquished.